People often ask me these three little words, how's the market? Now, while I could spend literal hours talking about the intricacies and finer details of the patterns and trends of our real estate market, I boiled it down to the most critical points to help answer the question, how's the market? With three hows of my own. How much is for sale? How's competition? How are interest rates? At the time of filming, the average 30-year fixed mortgage has a rate of 6.38%. That's up 1.6 points since a year ago, but it's down 0.8 points since November. As the Fed attempts to fight inflation, we can confidently say that we won't be seeing rates go back to the pandemic era rates anytime in the near future. So how much is for sale? Let's look at two data points, new listings and inventory. The number of people who put their house on the market always follows a seasonal pattern, the busiest in spring and early summer and the slowest in winter. This year is no different. In King and Snohomish County, new listings in March were 50% higher than February. That's great news for people who are looking to buy because we've been suffering from low inventory. If you tried to buy a house in King County 10 years ago, you'd have over 6,000 homes to choose from. This year, King County has under 2,000. Believe it or not, that's an improvement over last year when there were only about 1,000 houses for sale. But we'll still need significantly more homes to go up for sale before we have a more balanced market. Which brings us to competition. How is the competition? Median sales price is starting the seasonal trend upward. Both counties are down about 9% compared to last March, but buyers are averaging paying full asking price. Last year, when we only had 1,000 homes for sale in King County, the average buyer was paying 11% over asking price and much higher asking price for great houses. Which raises an interesting question. How have sellers' asking prices changed over the last year? We know the final sale price and the percent over the list price for both last March and this March. So we do a little simple math and we can see what sellers were asking for a year ago. When we compare the two, we see that the list price sellers were asking hasn't actually changed much. So that's the short version of how the real estate market is. Want the long version? Or have you heard enough and you're ready to jump into the market either buying or selling? Send me an email or connect with me through one of my links in Linktree. The description is below. Stay safe and thanks for watching.